Today, Ambassador Long Dan announced Chinese support for the North Korean claim that they did not intentionally launch the missile that sank the wall. We are monitoring these developments while continuing to seek a peaceful resolution. Make no mistake, the Chinese People's Republic will employ all means at our disposal to protect our interests in the Asian subcontinent. Our intelligence estimates that the current number of Korean troops massed at the border runs as high as 200,000 men. Monty? Montgomery Lewis, the Times. Do we know what the possible North Korean strategy will be if diplomatic efforts fail? We've known for decades that the NKA would move to capture Seoul as quickly as possible, regardless of the cost. That is how our defenses are structured. But with a capital less than 40 miles from the border, and well within artillery range of the big guns, it is clear that war would be catastrophic in terms of damage done and lives lost. Hey guys, I'm Fagoni. And let's begin like this mission. Start off by opening this trap door and climbing down the rope. So, besides stopping World War III, is there anything else I can do for you this evening? The base commander should have and drop down. Intel about NK, divisional strength Walk depth, fairly slowly over, you'll have a bit of noise cover. I'll try to schedule it. And we're going to head directly forward towards those two boxes. Fisher, since everyone is asking everyone for intel, uh, we're going to pull out our pistol. And we're going to EMP the light. Looks like this battery is repair and maintenance capability. And then climb up onto the boxes and pull ourselves up. Shipping or repair laws you can recover with the And pull ourselves up onto this beam. Now walk across the beam. You shouldn't fall, but be careful. Walk slowly. And walk across the roof here. And we're going to head for the opening just in the corner there. Okay guys, so we have three objectives in this mission. And we also have the secondary objective of getting the shipping logs and shipping information. And um, we're going to do that straight after this. So we're going to head forwards and exit. Here we go. And we're going to walk over here and open this trapdoor. Move in and drop down. Now there's two routes we can take. One route is through that way on the mission. And there's this way, which is going to take us to our first shipping um, or billing information. And... Uh, the first part of our secondary objective and it's very easy just walk quietly because there's people sleeping in there and our noise protection is at zero so we can't make any noise now this room has three people in it so uh, it sticks to the shadows but we should be fine now we're going to head behind this guy's at the computer head forwards and we're going to go forwards and we're going to scan the computer and there's the first Good shipping work, log Fisher. Looks like and they slowly head backwards. Through four separate departments. Gotta love military bureaucracy. See if you could get the logs from the other three. Now serving number 67. So one down, three to go. And we're going to head back the way we came. And we're going to head out the opposite end of the room. You can close the door behind you. Doesn't really matter. That door was already open. But AI in this game do detect if you leave doors open. So always close one if you open it. And that way they won't know anything. Okay, now there's one guy in here. But he normally isn't a problem. Our main problem is there's a security camera. So we're going to go in. We're going to close that door behind us. There's the one guard. Pull out your pistol. And the camera up there, you're just going to EMP. And then sticking to the shadows just to be safe. We're going to head forwards. And we're going to head over to this door here. Because this contains the next piece of shipping information. Turn off our night vision. And we're going to pick the lock. There's only four tumblers. Very easy. Open up and walk in. The guy will be facing away from us. And we're going to head in. And once again, we're going to scan his computer. Oh, a little bit lower. There we go. And that's the second of four. So head back. Close the door behind us. Sticking to the shadow. And we're going to take a direct right and head down this little side passage here and down this trap door. Now this is one of the two ways to enter the next area which is quite difficult. So pay attention because I've got a great way to get fast. We can go down this ladder and through this cool space. Because the next area has two guards in it and we've got to move a missile. But the missile um, switch button 
has a glitch where it's in 100% light, even if you knock out all the lights. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to hit out our night vision, pull out our gun, and we're going to shoot this light just there. Then turn our night vision back on so we can see. And we're going to head over to this event area, because we need to distract these guards. We're going to pull out our pistol, shoot the wall outside, and that's going to get their attention and make them walk in that direction. We're going to head over to the ladder here, and it's all about speed. Pull ourselves up. Now, we're going to shoot out these lights, but not now, because it's all about getting to the switch area as quickly as we can. We're going to wait for this guy to walk down. As soon as he has, head over to this light area and quickly hack it. Because we've only got a short amount of time before they walk back to this area and turn around. And like I said, the glitch means that we're in 100% light. Okay, now what we're going to do is this. Pull out our pistol and we're going to shoot out all the lights. It's one. Two. And the last one. Oh, one button. Three. Hit our night vision now, and we're going to climb on top of the cab here. Oh, there we go. We're going to turn around, and the last thing is to take out the security camera. Just there, you can just about see it. And climb up. And we can just uh, go along like this. You can tell if you've hit the security camera, because one, you'll hear the noise. And two, um, there'll be a blue flash. Now, because we've taken out those lights, we'll be able to go in this mode, the quicker going across pipe mode and it means it will be in complete darkness. And we're going to head all the way along and over to this uh, light area just ahead. We're going to drop down and drop down here. And drop down to the next area. Now move forwards and we're going to ignore that area down there, that little trap door, because there's a much quicker way into the, into the next area. We're going to head just here and we're going to stop just at this light, because that guy there, that guard, will see if you go too far ahead. Now, we'll let him walk past. And of course, I'm trying not to knock anyone out. I like to do a complete ghost walkthrough on these, where I don't knock out anyone, I don't get any alerts. You know how I like to play. So we're gonna move forwards, we're gonna stand up, and we're gonna climb up here and pull ourselves up. And we're gonna head down here, and on the left, it's gonna take us to the lift area, where we can hijack it, or override it, and make the lift go up. Now, our first objective is to prove that the Koreans didn't um, launch the missile. And there's a multiple ways to do that. The way we're going to do it is we're going to over listen to a conversation. Um, overhear a conversation we, you're going to hear anyway. Other ways are to interrogate the general or to hack on the computers. But you see some people who do all three of those and it's not necessary. All you need to do is listen to the conversation. And uh, we're going to make it even simpler. We're just going to listen to the conversation and we're going to get the third piece of uh, shipping information. So we're going to crawl through here and uh, exit. Now the way I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the left, but there is a way to the right there where you can go to interrogate the general and listen to the conversation. So if that's how you want to do it, go to the right. But we're going to go to the left and down this ladder and slide down. Now we're going to go over here and use your optic cable because there, that's the door and also in a minute the guard's going to walk past. And uh, you've just got to wait for him. There he goes. So leave that. Give him a bit of time, open the door, move forward, close the door behind you, though we will be coming back this way. We have finished our preliminary inspection of the West uh, Front. Try and stick to the and shadows. What is your report? We did every test we could. This is a conversation we do over here, and the computer well, is just over there. No the perfect timing, this guy is gonna walk down to the lower area, allowing us to access the computer. Now we'll be able to access this in shadow. On the bottom of the sea, so use computer. There we go, that's the third one. So now we just need to overhear this conversation. We've got the third piece of shifting information. And dead. I want you to run every test again. Then run whatever test the captain forgot until you find out what the hell happened with my missile. Sir, yes, sir. Get out of my sight. That sealed it. And that's all we need the to hear. Came from here, but they didn't so we're going to head back the way we came. There won't be any guards around here. Thing. And back over to the door there. The problem is that someone launched a missile intentionally. 
Isn't that someone Doug Shetland uses a Katie's algorithm? Close the door and climb up the ladder. And we're going to head back through this cool space. And um, what we need to do with our second objective is find out about uh, the fingerprint. So basically, who fired the missile. And this is where it's going to get a little more difficult. The area up ahead is quite difficult. But we're going to head back the way we came. Um, exit through here. And we're going to take the elevator back down. Okay, back over and hack it. Now the reason this mission is so hard is for the next area, mainly because the guards have random patterns. They have about five different ways they can go, five different patterns, and they change them up constantly. So even if you save and go back on it, their position will have changed. Very clever AI to keep you on your toes, but makes this mission painfully difficult. Painfully difficult. Okay, we're going to head over to the edge here, drop back down. Now, there's a good chance that the guard will not be in this area. So I'm just going to wait for him to walk past. Because you saw the shadow just there. Okay, he's walked away. Always watch out for him because he's the guy who's most likely to see you. Now we're going to head up here. We are in quite a lot of shadow still. And out to the door here. Now there's a security camera on the other side. So we're going to open the door, pull out our gun, and zap that. And close the door behind us. Now there is a technician here. Though he's looking at missiles, so we can ignore him. Now, sticking to the shadow, we're going to move away from him. Go fairly quietly. In a minute, we'll be able to speed up. Go around that. And into this next area. No one's around here. No one patrols. There's nothing really around here. And we can drop down and head forward. Stick to the shadow because there will be a guard around the next corner. We will be patrolling around. Head under this door like so and staying in the shadow we're going to head down these stairs now this is where it gets difficult so this is what we're going to do next now this next situation really depends on where the guards are in the room especially if you don't want to knock anyone out and go for a complete ghost walkthrough like me this is what you're going to do you're going to pull out your pistol and we're going to shoot the light above us now we're going to open this door this is going to attract the guard who's in here now you're going to pull out your pistol and aim at the computer just there. Once he's leveled his chair, zap it, and that's going to get him to turn. At this point, we're going to sneak past. Now, there's two or one, one of two things will happen. One, they'll both go out separate doors, or two, they'll walk clockwise around the room. Either one doesn't um, really matter, as long as they both end up leaving the room. So he's out, and we're going to head to the wiring point he was just at. So we're going to use that. And the other guy should leave the room. All right, that it's also going to allow us to get the final piece of shipping information. And he's going to walk out. Be careful he doesn't see you when you walk across. And we're going to go here and use the computer and get the logs. Now, if they walk in a clockwise motion, which normally they do, go out the opposite door over there and head up. But seeing they've gone out of different doors, the best thing is to go through the door which has the most shadow. So, we're going to close that door behind us, and we're going to head up. Because either way, this guard is going to end up going back down these stairs, and we don't want to be nearby when he does that. So, we're going to head over in the shadows here. And what we've got to do next is head over to that computer. Now, in a second, these dudes are going to be like, okay, we didn't find anything. And they're going to head back down. And if we're lucky, that guard there who's patrolling will also go down with them. If not, what we're going to do is we're going to take out that light and access the computer. Or if you don't want to do, take any risks, you can let them rotate all the way around in this walk. So we're really just waiting for him. He should turn that way and start walking. And we're just going to get the shadow position. See, that's where he was at the beginning, and he's going to walk down. I'm going to zap this light just to be sure. What's wrong now? That's going to give us the darkness that we need. Use computer. Good work, Sam. Lead the computer. The Head back now. the way you came. Yeah. That's right. Right now. Where did it come from? And Kyle. using the AI confusion, we've it's managed to get all the information we need without taking out any guards. Now, we can head quite quickly out of this next area, make a fair bit of noise, 
and head back up the stairs and across the small bridge. Yes, but like I was saying, normally they'll walk clockwise to go out the opposite door, use the light, and uh, access the computer. Now, we still want to be quiet because of that technician, and we've got to take out this uh, camera again. Zap it. And walk through the door. Open the door, and close it behind us. Now, the main thing is we've got to watch out for a guard. He's very likely to walk through that door there. Okay, he's not there. That will allow us, even if he does come now, we'll be able to walk around the edge here. And he's the number one person to walk, um, to watch out for, because he patrols these two areas. And if he's not coming around the corner now, what we're going to do is this. We're going to zap the light. Whereabouts is he? Okay, he's around the corner. Zap the light there. Move forwards. And the guard's up there. Now, even though we're in pure darkness, we could walk across there. Even though uh, we have pure darkness, so we could walk across there. But I'm just going to let this guard walk past first, just to be safe. Right. If he does patrol that area, which he will often, so keep an eye out for him, follow him back to this area, and then just wait for him to patrol off and walk around the room just like this. I've actually had quite a... Uh, different um, playthrough than I normally do. Normally those guys walk clockwise, normally that guy's there. It's all about the timing. Okay, there's another security camera here. Zap it with your EMP. Walk through, close the door behind you. Important because guards will remember. Now we're going to head down here and there's going to be a guard patrolling this catwalk. And good, he's walking down now. We really need to get our timing perfectly after this because where he walks after this really depends. We're going to walk down, then we're going to use the next area, and on our way back, we're going to have to follow him back down. But for now, we're good. So stick to the shadows as you walk along. In a second, he's going to do a little jog and speed up. At that point, we're going to turn off our night vision, pull out our gun, and we're going to zap that EMP light here. The EMP does light. Hit up, night vision, and we're going to walk over to the wiring point just here. Even if he does see you a little bit or hear you, it doesn't matter, he can't get down to this area. Once that's down, it's going to unlock the door here. Guess what, we were too late to stop the missile. Let him! You're too late! The warhead won't arm until it's a few hundred meters from its target. If I can dig up the abort code. Good thing! Check one control directly under the platform. I'm on my way. Yes. Walk quietly on the platform because even though um, they're below us with a stone roof, they can still hear us. We have three minutes, which is loads of time. So we're going to enter this room and do this. Okay, once again, we're going to use our optic cable. And the guy's facing that control area. So that's going to allow us to sneak in. That's his most common position. He'll be standing or crouching there. And that's going to allow us to walk through and use the computer. Those are the codes, and we can head back out the way we can. Complete stealth. Don't forget to close the door behind you, and head out. That's his most common position there, like I said. Um, if not, he'll be sitting down in at the computer, or he'll be on the other side of the room. If he's uh, sitting down, all you've got to do is zap a light, or shoot a wall to distract him. And you can get the whole clockwise rotation like we've got in the other area. Now, again, walk uh, quietly over the roof here. And like uh, Reagan said, all we need to do is head over and um, use the computer in the control room. Grim is always right. So um, we're going to head back the way we came. And we need to watch out for the guard because he's going about halfway through his patrol pattern by now. And yep, just walking across the bridge there. It's perfect for us. And we're going to climb back up here and we're going to follow him. In a second, he's going to face to the right. And that's going to give us enough time to sneak behind him. So yeah, you have a reasonable, um, a reasonable amount of time. But don't uh, be too slow because he will turn back this way eventually. So then just walk behind him. There we go. Easy. And with time to spare. Now, we need to watch out because in this next area, there's um, a guard. And he patrols this area. He's the one who's been. we've got to watch out for all those other times. Because he walks in and out of this room. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to head up these stairs and stop just outside this door. 
So we're going to use our optic cable and we're going to check under the door. Because in a second there's going to be a guy who walks up here. If you're lucky his patrol pattern will be in the opposite area and he'll be in a different room and you can easily access the computer that way. Once he's out of sight, quickly head through the door and we're in. Now he's going to stand there for a while and you could knock out the switch but then that means he'll get in your way. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to pull out our gun and we're just going to shoot the wall just down there. Come up on there and show yourself. That's going to cause both guards to stand up and guess what, they're going to go down there. Very easy for us. And we can quickly head over here, use a computer, Good job, man. This will abort. and head back the way we can. No. And that's how we get past those guards. If the second guard isn't in the room, remember to zap the cam on your way out. Close the door behind you. If the guard isn't in there, you can just walk up and use the computer and you won't be seen because there'll be enough shadow. Now we're going to head back the way we came. And the guard will be in one of two positions. Where is he? Okay, he's down there. That's fine for us. If we walk fairly quickly, we should be able to catch him up and get into the shadows in time. And once more, we'll just zap the light and get past him. I'm just going to walk on his other side in case he starts walking this way too soon. Just like so. Flat my gun. This thing is a mess. Night vision on. Again, fairly quietly, so he can't access you down here. And we're going to leave. That guy should also leave in a second. And we're going to head to our um, exit point. And that was how we complete the mission, guys. It was stealth. Your extraction is literally in the same place as before. Climb up. And we can extract with that sun, that sunset right there. Okay, let's see how we did. All uh, objectives complete, including the secondary one. It was quite easy in this mission. And statistics, all zeros. A very difficult mission to complete without knocking anyone out. If you find it difficult, just take out some of the key guys. We got 100% stealth, and we did it in just under 21 minutes. So guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.